class we are going to see one topic stack trace element from the third unit of object oriented programming objectives are to understand stack trace elements in java to apply stack trace elements in programming first of all stack trace element was one of the class in java which will represent a single stack frame which is a stack trace when an exception occurs that is it is simply stack trace is a sequence of informations that can be produced to the user when an exception occurs the informations are nothing but the information associated with the exception that is when an exception occurs <coughs> the corres the associated class name method name so all those details will be traced and all those details can be displayed to the user so they those details are called as stack trace so stack trace element class was used for this purpose okay so the stack trace element class consists of some specific methods to return the array of stack trace elements for example uh, the stack trace element class consists of the constructor so the first constructor consists of the parameters like uh, declaring class string method name file name line number so these are all the, the actually these are all the, uh, the informations that will be shown that will be written to the user as a result of exception okay declaring class means the class under which exception is created then method name is method the name of the method by which under which a exception is occurred will be shown to the user file name is uh, so if the exception is cast by some file file access that file name will be returned that file name will be displayed line number means under the file under one file uh, the li uh, one particular line may cause the exception so that line number will be written to the user or display to the user so in this way stack trace element class is used to provide some useful information about the exception uh, handling now this stack trace element consists of several methods first one is one boolean method boolean equals so boolean method means always it will return say the true or false based upon the condition so the it will returns true if the invoking stack trace element is same as the one passed in object okay so that is if the invoked element is same as as the previous one it will return true otherwise it will return false then string get class name so this is the method which will returns the name of the class at the execution point then string get file name it will returns the file name of the execution point similarly get line number which will returns the source code line number of the execution point then get get method name which will returns the method name for the execution point then two string method which will returns the string equivalent of the invoking sequence okay it which will returns the details in the format of string now we are going to see one example program so we are create we are creating one class under the class we are having the try block and inside the try block we are uh, throwing on runtime exception okay we are throwing on runtime exception then inside the catch block that is uh, <coughs> actually we we all know this the usage of stack trace element is associated with the exception whenever an exception occurs <coughs> this stack trace element will provide the associated details so here we are throwing our own exception runtime exception then the corresponding inside the corresponding catch block we are having the we are applying the method that is stack trace method so initially we are printing on statement printing stack trace here we are inside the catch block we are going to print something some details about the exception so we are printing uh, we are showing the displaying this statement that is printing stack trace then we are now we are going to apply the necessary methods 
first of all final stack trace element stack trace equal to e dot get stack trace here what we are doing is we are calling the method get stack trace so by this method all the elements will be all the details of the exception will be traced and it will be stored into the array it will be stored into the array stack trace we are creating an array okay stack trace so we are creating the array of elements that is the stack trace on which all the necessary informations will be kept okay so to retrieve the informations we have applied the method get stack trace e is the object exception object that we have created previously okay e is the exception object so we have to call the method with by extending with the exception object only so we have applied the method e dot get stack trace so the stack elements the informations about the exception e will be retrieved and it will be stored into the array stack trace okay then inside the for loop we are printing all those details okay the details that we have uh, got previously by applying the method get stack trace will be uh, printed to the user will be displayed to the user under the for loop okay so we are printing the details in this manner system dot out dot print ln yes dot get class name so yes is actually the yes is the object name that we have created for the class stack trace element okay yes is the object name that we have created for the stack trace element and the, all the details will be stored in stack trace array now yes dot get class name means the class name of the exception will be printed the class name of the exception will be kept in the object yes that will be printed then yes dot get method name here by which by this method we will get the method name of the exception okay then yes dot get file name <coughs> by applying the method in this manner we will get the file name of the corresponding exception okay then get line number we will get the source code line number of the uh, program where the exception arises so that will be re retrieved by applying the method get line number okay so here inside the for loop we are displaying all those individual information individual details from the stack trace element object yes is the object that we have created for the stack trace element that is that is associated with the array stack trace so previously all the the stack will be traced exception stack was traced and the elements all the details details will be stored into the array stack trace so the array elements will be copied into the object yes now we are printing the class name file name method name line number with the help of the object yes okay so now we will get the output in this manner that is previously we have print on statement printing stack trace at stack trace ex stack trace ex is the class name okay stack trace is ex is the class name then we are printing main is the method name main is the method main under the main method only in this program under the main method exception is arised exception was arised so main then file name is file, file name of this particular java program that is stack trace ex dot java okay file name is the file under which exception arised so the file name of the current program is stack trace ex dot java then the line number source code line number on which exception occurs exception arises was line number 5 so all these details will be printed so this is the that was the use of stack trace element okay in java stack trace element is used to provide all the uh, information associated with one exception okay that's all about the topic so here we can get the question like 
explain stack trace elements in java with example program thank you all